to be alarming, but right now there is a 30,000-pound Russian rocket circling the Earth loaded with roughly 11 tons of toxic fuel called nitrogen tetroxide and hydrazine. The spacecraft is called Phobos Grunt. Phobos for the Martian moon this thing is supposed to be flying to, and Grunt is the Russian word for ground or soil or dirt, which is what the probe on top of this big dumb rocket was supposed to scoop up and bring back home once it got to Mars's moon. It doesn't look like it's getting to Mars's moon. Phobos Grunt right now is falling, slowly but inexorably, back down towards Earth as it had since Tuesday, when shortly after liftoff, the rocket's booster engines failed to fire. The booster engines were supposed to send this thing out of Earth's atmosphere to get all the way up to Mars's moon. The engines were going to use all that hydrazine. They were going to burn it up as fuel to go all the way to Mars. This is video purportedly shot in Brazil on Tuesday, right about the time the first engine was supposed to fire. Uh, that little dot that keeps going in and out of focus there is the rocket not doing what it was supposed to be doing. The reason people in Brazil were even looking for the Phobos Grunt at the time is the Russian space program crowdsourced the launch. Instead of sending a reconnaissance ship to South America to monitor the rocket's progress, they decided to just save the expense and ask amateur sky watchers around the globe to help them out. Now, the last time Russia tried a deep space mission, uh, it didn't really work out then either. This is NBC News at Sunrise with Linda Vester. Good morning, everyone. The world of science and the nation of Russia have suffered a serious setback. A mission to explore the planet Mars has come to an end in the South Pacific. Last night, pieces of a Russian space probe fell back to Earth, plunging into the ocean about 900 miles southeast of Easter Island and some 1,800 miles northwest of Santiago, Chile. The spacecraft lifted off from its base in Kazakhstan on Saturday, carrying two devices designed to land on Mars. But one of the rocket boosters failed to ignite properly. Ground controllers lost contact, and the rocket got stuck in Earth's orbit. As you can tell by the newscaster's hairdo, that was 1996. What's happening now is kind of amazingly similar. Um, at least this one does not have any plutonium on board, like the last one they crashed. Uh, this one, it's just tons and tons and tons of toxic rocket fuel. You can be one of the work-for-free amateur space trackers of this thing, of the Phobos Grunt, if you want to be. According to the live track online right now, it's somewhere, what is that, west of Indonesia, vaguely? My eyes aren't even good enough to tell. Uh, in the west of Australia, yeah. While it's still up there, uh, Russian rocket scientists do still have time to try to figure out what the problem is and maybe even fix it, but they probably only have a few days left before its batteries die. Uh, mission controllers say they've made a few attempts to send commands to the rockets to fire those booster engines and get this thing fired toward that Mars moon, but so far, niet, which means tons of hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide may be heading back home to Earth one of these days in a rather uncontrolled fashion. Uh, today, I learned the phrase Boja 